overview of the Netherlands DLC army in under five minutes. Let's go. There's nothing really too crazy to do with a logistical tab. It's your rather standard blue fort fare. One notable example is the AB204B V-Rack, which is your standard cheap logistical helicopter. Don't really see these guys all too often. Your infantry tab is also a little bit uneventful. The main interesting thing to know is your SOC and Elite Infantry, for example, the Elite Infantry and Court Marines, the 95 and the 75 version are the same point. You just get different armaments for each, one of them being a bit more of a European loadout, the other one being a bit more of a North American loadout. You've got standard flamethrower infantry, stingers, so on and so forth. One interesting unit to note is the Verp Log 95, which is a Super Dragon anti-tank squad. The interesting thing about this is that you could theoretically snipe infantry units from two kilometers away with this unit. It's not exactly your Arix, but it's a gimmicky thing that could be quite a bit of fun. Infantry transports are rather similar as rail. You've got a 10 point cheap fast transport and a 15 point M103 with no cannon on top. you also got other cheap 5 point transports and a Huri transport helicopter. Support vehicles is a cluster of other support vehicles already in game. You've got the M109s and M110 artillery pieces. You've got the standard mortar guy. So one interesting mortar unit is the mortar on the back of a truck. Your AA consists of a flak panzer to parge and eyehawks. So one of the eyehawks does not use radar, so it won't get shot down by seed. And of course, the uh, big elephant in the room being the uh, tactical scud launcher. This thing shoots a big ass missile that does a lot of damage usually one it kills medium light armor infantry and helicopters you have to make up for it it has a seven kilometer minimum engagement distance and it takes a long time to aim the rocket but overall it's your literal finger of death that you can fire safely behind your lines your tanks are also a mix up of tanks already in game you got Leopard 2s all the way to the 2 to the 2A5, and of course the 2A5 being pretty much similar to the rest German version. You got Leopard 1, Centurions, and a rear unit being the AMX 13, which is like your French 1390, but it does have a bigger gun with a slightly slower fire rate. Reconnaissance is also your standard blue fare. You got multiple cheap ground reconnaissance vehicles from real to tracks to machine guns to auto cannons, a cheap reconnaissance helicopter, a SOC infantry squad, and an elite recon infantry squad. One main notable unit being the Leopard 185 reconnaissance tank. 65 points. It's not your M3A2 Bradley in terms of armor killing power, but it definitely does give you that little bit of edge when skirmishing with other enemy reconnaissance vehicles. Vehicles are very underwhelming. You have tow missiles on the platform of your choice and a recordless rifle on the back of a truck. Pretty much just ATGM and cheap anti tank stuff. You got two cool helicopters available to you. The first one being the Apache Escort, a close range Apache of Hydra, an auto cannon, good for dealing with light armor and enemy infantry. And secondly, we got the Apache 64 ATD and Apache. For 130 points, it's pretty much a longbow, but the missiles are guided, you can't fire and forget them, and it doesn't really have any reconnaissance optics. You've got a few decent plane options available to you. You've got the F-16 MOU for your interceptions, an F-16 block for blowing up enemy tanks, and you also got an Albatross with napalm bombs. Whether the DLC is worth it really just comes down to debate. I don't have a concise answer for you guys. You know, the pros of the DLC is that it's new content for all game. You got some very fun gimmicky units. And also, you don't really see the Netherlands all too often in anything, so it's pretty cool to play them. You could also argue that five to seven bucks for a lot of reused assets can seem a little bit steep of a price. But nonetheless, the DLC is out. And well, expect to see a lot of Dutch decks very soon, especially in a lot of lobbies. Probably not in competitive, and a lot of Scott launchers. So, I'm going to leave it at that. This has been another Rangaroo video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as usual, please just take it easy.